technique, like in the other productions, we want to talk about uh, some things. And um, in the Pathetic, uh, uh, we have, um, well, we have a sonata which is completely easy. There is no difficulty. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> so you don't have to practice. Oh, <laughs> no, this is not true. It is very difficult. And uh, well, please uh, tell your experience. What do mm. you think? What, where do where I, the difficulties for you? Where mm. do you have to practice? Um, well, I would say one thing to keep in mind is not to overplay the almost uh, tremolo, bass-like tremolo. Um, it's about not trying to work too hard um, with the fingers, mm -hmm. sort of a slight rotation and never quite leaving the keys. Yeah. So profit, profit from the uh, wonderful Steinway, which still sounds when you only uh, yeah, left absolutely. the key half up and uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this, by the way, is a wonderful Bösendorfer, and here it works too. Yeah. And uh, what do you do there? Do you take pedal to help for the mm. sound, or would you like mm. to have a clear uh, uh, tremolo where one can hear every note? Mm. Um, you should be able to hear every note, but it has to be. It should. That's not the main source of the excitement. It's the right hand that's mm. going straight up yeah, like yeah. flashes of lightning. Yeah. This left hand is integral, but not. Mm -hmm the absolute main yeah, element. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so obviously it should be light and mm -hmm. um, as even as possible. Yeah. Um, but also there's a danger to get too fixated and then it becomes... Yeah. And to keep it quiet for the entire yeah. first um, four bars before it says crescendo, yeah, yeah. because it's so tempting yeah. with this, it would seem like it should go... Yes. Do this big crescendo when yeah. he only writes it four bars later. It would disturb the right hand. Absolutely. And how about the right hand? How, uh, which movement of the arm you use? Uh, are mm -hmm. you doing it with the wrist? Are you doing it with the uh, mm -hmm. part of the arm? Are you doing it's it from the fingers? Or you change during the crescendo? Um, well, it's mostly from the arm um, because it's a bit dangerous to go. Yes. Let's see. Uh, yeah. But if you try and prepare, um, as I say, um, lay the carpet. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you should prepare and then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And the touch, you, would you think one could practice it, for example, like this? With That's the the, yes, I've done that um, a few times at the mm -hmm. beginning when I started. In, in different, it. maybe in different intervals. Uh, to to have it and and to practice it maybe uh, with the crescendo yes. and, uh, and the sforzato like it is written to bring it out yes and also to do the voices separately I think was very helpful mm -hmm. because there's quite a lot of thumb movement going yeah so that has to be yes. completely relaxed yeah. and so one one could for example practice uh, a scale only with a thumb something yes. like this and then so also chromatic as well yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, well, at the end of the second page, uh, it is, um, must look it up, which bar it is. It is um, bar 50, uh, 60, uh, 49, 50. This is almost something which is really, uh, on the first side, it is um, unplayable. And you, you, oh get, <laughs> your, you get your arms mm. and, and, and you can't go on. Mm. Um, how do you do it? Um. Well, it's very important to have this um, very quick lateral movement. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think quite a useful way to practice it is if you just hold the left hand and practice this movement very quick. Mm -hmm. And then maybe then prepare and then try. Mm -hmm. And maybe and even, just, um, even just only the jump. With 4-1 or something yeah. like this. Mm. yeah. And the very interesting, um, uh, Mario Pereira, the editor of the new edition, he um, uh, made a proposal uh, for um, changing the hand there so that you, you here already take the left mm. hand so then you can go into the new position with the right mm. hand uh, and you can keep the tempo. Yes. Can you, can you show this? Yes. Mm. 
So nevertheless, the very first jump is okay. Yeah. <laughs> but after this, you can't do it mm. in this way. So you of just course. have to practice. And um, yeah. Also challenging, I think, is to get the clarity of these um, uh, mordants. Mm. Um, the fingering is very important. Um, of course, that completely depends on your hand and yes. what's comfortable for you. Um, but again, one thing we talked about a lot was not to do too much movement. Yes, with but the arm. More from the fingers and very loose and yeah. light. And uh, especially for, for myself, I, I found out that changing fingers can be a help. For example, if you have one, and then three, and then two. Yes, that, that's what I do. Yeah. Uh, mm. Then you can't stuck. Mm. You yes. can't stuck, and um, I think uh, this works. Uh, can you show? Mm. Yeah, this works wonderful. And uh, 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 very interesting, this works in every combination of black and white Mm. keys. Uh, when, when you th would think it, it, this is impossible, for example, two white keys and a black key at the end. You can do one, three, one, three, two, one. Yeah. And you can re rely that you don't stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, could you just play this again? Yeah, mm. yeah. And very important is just to do it from the fingers. Mm. Uh, otherwise, it is rhythmically not... Mm clear and maybe it's even also too loud. Yeah. It's too loud. What about uh, the chords? The opening, yeah, grave, you, ah. How do you do it? Mm. With an with a extra accent or you just let the arm fall? What, what, well, what do you I mean, recommend? Ar arm weight is really essential for these big chords um, because you don't want to play from the elbow down and go <laughs> because then you get a harsh sound. Yes. And um, so a good way is to always try and connect the arm to the shoulder yeah. and then to the back. Yeah. That, you, that you feel like you're playing these chords with your entire yeah, body. Yeah. And the aim is really to get this round sound yeah, yeah. Um, that isn't, again, like a yeah. hammer. Yeah. And to try and really feel the weight of your arms and completely relaxed yeah. is essential. Yeah, that you just fall down and let the weight mm. of the arm do the sound. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Second movement. Mm. Difficulty. What's what do you think? What, what's mm. what is the problem? Where do you yourself have to uh, be attended mm. uh, mostly? Um, well, there's, again, completely different set of difficulties mm -hmm. to the first movement. Um, the primary one being um, mostly phrasing and quality of sound. Mm -hmm. um, and it's easier said than done to just say, you should sing here. Mm -hmm. It's about how do you physically do it and how do you listen. Mm -hmm. um, and a useful way perhaps possibly is thinking about, again, totally relaxed arm, and sinking into the keys. Mm -hmm. um, I was always taught when I was younger from my wonderful teacher in England, Dina Parakina, mm -hmm. um, to like a parachute. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Yes, exactly, booked. exactly. And this is really um, essential, um, not just for this movement, but for mm -hmm. all piano playing. We're yeah. always trying to sing. Yeah. Um, and also to think about the phrasing, how would you sing it? Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to go, mm -hmm. you want to try and connect. Um, I won't sing now because I've got a cold, <laughs> um, but that's always a really useful way. But you go, and you go there, mm. and then you go on, yeah. and with a crescendo to mm. the next. Yes, and I think if you're at home, just it's always useful to try singing and how would you phrase it mm -hmm. and if you try and sing it in one breath you realize that you need to take breaths yeah yeah and it's in this way that it will help you mm -hmm. um try at least yeah, and, yeah. and get a natural yeah. and singing and uh, for pianissimo oh, chords like this uh, it is a uh, bar 44 mm -hmm. um 
I think there also is the situation where you don't let the key come up completely mm. and, and mm. you profit from the possibility of repeating. Yeah. Can, can you show it? I even would do it even with a little bit more fingers, but of course, as you said, uh, it is um, person, personal taste mm. and uh, personal also uh, capacity, and uh, there are a lot of different possibilities. But uh, of course, move the arm a little mm. bit and the wrist and also the finger. Mm. And like uh, Tzu Yu said in her comment, uh, trying this in different keys mm. to change between white and black keys and the combination of them, uh, I think this would be also very helpful. Mm. Um, the third movement. Mm. Um. Scales. One should <laughs> practice scales with the also with changing from <laughs> from normal semiquavers mm. to semiquavers and triplets, and also with quintals and mm. uh, all this. Mm. Yeah, there's really there's a lot of scales in this uh, final movement, and with all scales, the really um, key element is the mobility of the mm -hmm. thumb mm -hmm. to pass under, because otherwise you'd get... Yes, yes. And so it has to be as... Yeah. as Especially as when you go up, you must prepare the thumb when the other things are, uh, uh, fingers are playing. Now it must be already here. Mm. And here too. Mm. And I think this is really essential for preparation, the, the new position, mm. and also to practice this slowly and mm. to listen not to do accents and uh, yeah and also practice it in different um, uh, dynamics because here we have even fortissimo oh yes sometimes yeah. sometimes how about uh, left hand in, in this third movement mm. well there's the two sections with uh, triplets which um, need to be he's written piano and they need to be uh, light and elegant mm -hmm. um, and there's many different fingerings that you could do. Um, you could either do three, two, one. Yeah. And in the right hand, um, again, completely mm -hmm. personal. Um, but I think it's very important to practice it, of course, slowly. Yeah. Um, and really, you know, when you're um, thinking about this, think about each note and at the very beginning, at least, think about each physical. And always listening. Yes, yes. I think that's really quite yeah. vital. In, in different editions, I have s uh, seen a, a lot of proposals. And uh, um, uh, Mari Piraya writes um, three, two, one, just mm. which I also for me it would be the best. Mm. But there are four, three, two, uh, four, three, uh, yeah, and also four, three, one, and then mm. uh, uh, three again. Well, one, I think one has to try it out, and mm. if it works, you could even play with your nose, if you like. <laughs> but um, the fingering here from, from Peraya, I, I really admire very much, mm. and uh, it helps uh, very much. But I think um, doing fingerings, it's n never like um, behaving like a guru, <laughs> because a guru is always right. Mm. And, uh, but um, it's just a proposal. And I think here, are, these are decent uh, proposals, mm. and uh, I, I liked very much to see it and uh, to follow it. Mm. Um, what do you think in such a, a passage? Uh, should mm -hmm. it be com completely leggero, uh, mm. almost non legato, or maybe even with a small pedal to give a sound? Mm. Um, the way I think it can sound, there's so many different ways. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps with a slight pedal, because we have a minimum. And so you want to hear the connection in the right hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then in the left hand, mm -hmm. it should be very light. Um, and again, elegant. It's yeah, all about yeah. the technique. Is always it's never a separate element. Yeah, yeah. It's always connected with the mood and um, what you want to do. Exactly. So yeah. And and uh, just for the final the scale, what so what is uh, about um, pedal and scale? It, a difficult <laughs> question because of course we have this big chord. Um, it would it would be maybe sacrilegious to go. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. this would be too much. Mm. But if it's too clear... But then it also can't be... Yeah, it's fortissimo, so, but yes. one could play it in this articulation. I mm. think this would be uh, too too clean. Yes, it, it has and to have uh, a bit of... Uh, the, the emotion yeah. there, I was thinking, we are here in a studio uh, in the Mozarteum, uh, two floors behind uh, sea level, mm. and uh, with a lot of stairs, and we prepared all the books and the, the scores, and <laughs> Im went down the stairs, and imagine you fall. <laughs> and all the books follow you, mm. and uh, you are... Uh, on the ground, and I think this is such mm. a situation mm. without control and, and mm. very strong, and even if possible in fortissimo, even a crescendo to the last chord. Mm. And yes, I think one could use a little bit of pedal. Of, of course, yes, especially for the chord. I would use a lot of pedal. Mm. Maybe you can just do the the wonderful ending. There we we also have, uh, uh, um, yeah, this change. We have a. F uh, Fermata, then suddenly A flat major, we talked about already, uh, decrescendo pianissimo, and you think it's like a big question mark, and then somebody throws the door or something like mm -hmm. this. Uh, yeah. Can you show it? <laughs> Like this, and um, yeah. So somebody says, "Now it's now it's over. Mm. <laughs> now it's okay." Mm. And uh, yes, and I also want to thank you. And um, so, in the way, now it's over. And uh, I regret that very much because this has uh, been a wonderful discussion. Mm. And for me, here at the Mozarteum, when we work together, I always have a have a good lesson in English. <laughs> and English pronunciation and the right words and the right grammar. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>